Hey guys, I'm Andy with webgardener.com and today I'm going to be doing something that I told myself I would never do, an unboxing. I recently purchased the Gigabyte Z170X Gaming 6 motherboard. I've not opened it up yet, but I'm very excited because this is going to be the next step into SLI for myself since I've uh, recently upgraded my video cards as well. Today, however, we're just going to take a quick look at what comes with it, how it's packaged, and all of the wonderful things that we might be interested in as far as receiving new products and seeing what kind of uh, what kind of quality Gigabyte really puts into their stuff. So let's check it out. All right, so as we can see, we are looking at the new 6th gen uh, Core i series processors. Uh, this is the actual chipset, the Z170, which of course is used for overclocking. Uh, this is part of the Gigabyte G1 gaming series motherboard. So the emphasis here is overclocking, improving your RAM speeds, upgrading your, your processor speeds, and really pushing it to the limit for things like gaming and so forth. Um, however, Gigabyte still stands by their product with an awesome three-year warranty, uh, which is pretty cool. And of course, this is part of the Ultra Durable series, uh, which of course Gigabyte stands by. Um, overall, pretty typical. You know, you got some information all about the new USB 3.1 ports, which goes up to 16 gigabit per second pipeline. Uh, this one actually comes with a dual gigabit LAN setup. However, keep in mind this does not work with teaming. Uh, so if you're looking to get that extra boost out of the dual LAN working together, not going to happen. Uh, what's really cool, though, is you've got the Sound Blaster X-Fi MB3 Plus built into it, uh, which I believe is something that is really going to kind of step up the audio and quality on this board and uh, really just kind of make the games a lot more immersive. And there's a couple other features which we'll check out later. Uh, but for now, let's check out the board. So overall, pretty typical. Um, you've got your static bag wrapped around the motherboard and we'll go ahead and lift that out carefully. <laughs> All right, we'll move that to the side here. So for now, you can kind of see it's a standard ATX form factor. And what I'm going to do is just kind of take it out of the packaging and set it down so we can kind of enjoy the motherboard in all its gloriousness before we get into the rest of the packaging. One of the things I really liked about this motherboard, aside from the uh, nice choice of colors and quality of material, is the fact that in addition to uh, your higher quality audio card right here, um, all of your PCI cards actually have this extra uh, metal shielding, which is supposed to improve the physical capabilities or strength of the actual port. Not that I plan on swapping cards out or things like that, but you know, those GTX 980s get pretty heavy. So perhaps that will help to alleviate some of my discomfort of thinking that the card's just kind of hanging on the board there. Um, really nice looking overall. You can see we've got, uh, you know, three PCI slots that supports either time 16 times eight with two cards, or if we wanted three cards, we can do times eight times eight times four or times eight times eight times one. Uh, this will handle the two-way or three-way SLI with Gigabyte. And of course, you can also do Crossfire with AMD if you like to go that route. In addition to that, one of the best features about this is this actually has two M.2 hard drive positions, uh, which gives you some awesome capabilities as far as uh, being able to really boost your hard drive access times and speeds up to 32 gigabit per second, which is phenomenal. Uh, really nice heat shielding. This is actually a nice metal quality. Uh, looks like some kind of anodized aluminum. And you can see it's got some really good shielding uh, and, and overall quality. Uh, a lot of gold plating on this thing. Looks really, really slick, and I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, here you can see our Type-C 3.1 USB. And then, of course, we have our 3.1 standard USB, uh, followed by additional 3.0 USBs and then two 2.0 USBs. There's our dual LAN connections. And then, of course, we have an optical SPDIF as well as our standard uh, optical or, excuse me, uh, auxiliary out ports. 
uh, HDMI and a DisplayPort adapter if you want to actually utilize the onboard graphic capability of the i7 or i5 series processors. But really, if you're buying this car, this motherboard, I seriously doubt you're going to stick with the onboard graphics. All right, so we're just going to set the actual motherboard to the side and continue with our box. Uh, so underneath here, you can see things are just kind of jumbled in there. Um, we have got a door hanger. Let's see, do not disturb by gigabyte. I guess if you're, you know, with some college roommates or things like that, that might be pretty useful. Um, I'm married, so I don't really get that luxury. Anyway, moving on, we got, of course, a little tell us what your think card. If you want to learn more about what gigabyte has to offer, you can scan the little QR code. Whoop de doo. All right, so. Uh, next, we're moving on. We've got our installation guide. We've got a fairly large installation book, uh, which of course has our driver CD built into it. A lot of these books are getting smaller and smaller as everything's going digital. Um, personally, this is a must whenever you're setting up your board because even though the pins are uh, pretty easy to understand, and I've been building computers for quite a few years, doesn't necessarily mean that some of the new stuff isn't going to baffle me for a moment. So it's just a good idea to have this as a reference. All right, so it looks like we've got four SATA cables, uh, two in each, kind of a nice shiny silver color. You can see in each one we've got two straight and then one with a 90 uh, with each bag. So that's going to be useful if you're going to be running multiple drives or if you're old school like me and you like to have that optical drive still handy. For those of us that are really excited, here is our SLI cable for hooking up our NVIDIA cards. And then this this little guy, I absolutely love this. Um, my current motherboard uh, has this, and it really makes building a computer that much easier. Whenever you're doing your front panel connections, uh, your power button, your reset button, uh, things like that, this really makes it a lot easier because you can plug all of them into here, and then this simply plugs directly into the motherboard, making it super, super simple. In addition to that, of course, as every gamer needs, we've got a fairly heavy duty, uh, shiny sticker for our gaming case badge, uh, unless you want to put it somewhere else, but generally that's where people like to put them. And last but not least, as our box is now empty, we have our back IO panel, which you can see Gigabyte really kind of stepped it up a little bit. It is padded, gives it gives it a nice insulation as well, and you can see they've gone with a very, very nice looking black and red uh, color combination just to kind of go with the theme of the motherboard. So overall, I am pretty excited, and uh, let's take a look at a few features before we go ahead and close out the video. <laughs> All right, guys, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time, and hopefully I will start having some more videos like this, uh, including some benchmarking. I've got some uh, pretty cool setups. I want to test out the differences between SLI and non-SLI with things like 3D modeling rendering and Blender and 3D Studio Max. Uh, as well as some gaming benchmarking and stuff, just to kind of see how this board performs and, and other fun things like that. So uh, please subscribe or like to my uh, my video or my channel, uh, and hopefully as I get more support, I'll be able to start making more and more videos and perhaps improve my awesome studio. Take it easy.